Hey guys, it's Jonathan with Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a JDM 1991 Mitsubishi Diamante. Before we go into detail on this specific vehicle, please be sure to like and subscribe below. Also, we have apparel. That's uh, our Teespring account that you can see underneath us as well. This came from Japan. It has actual mileage, which is verified 55,000 original miles, which is like 80,000 kilometers. The paint work is extremely nice. The paint is actually original. Minor imperfections throughout. The front fascia looks really good, and you can see that full-time four-wheel drive. And we picked the perfect day to test this thing out because it's about to storm. Take a look at the sky. It's getting real dark out here. We also have another four-wheel drive vehicle we're gonna test out uh, later on today which is that 2016 RS4. And then we've got the little baby right next to it, the ST. And we've got a GT350R that we have as well. But back to this car, extremely clean driver quality car that you can go, jump in it, have ice cold air, and enjoy with all your friends. It has 90% uh, tread tires, and the wheels and tires look excellent. I don't see any uh, cracking or distortion. Brakes feel great, we just had it serviced. Uh, you can see the uh, Japanese marker on it. Minor imperfections, so like you got a little bit of scratches right here. Looks like a rabid cat got on it. Oh yeah, <laughs> the driver's side door is over there. This is Japanese. Give me a second. Okay, so I want to show you under the hood. It's actually really clean. Uh, there is no leaks of any kind. We had a service, so we put brand new belts on it, but look at that engine bay. So it's powered by a three liter, 24 valve V6. Uh, this is state of the art back then, so it's 205 horsepower, I believe 200 foot pounds of torque. This has all time four wheel drive and it has rear steer as well, from what I can understand. I tried to see if I could see the wheels turn, but I guess that's it's such a minute amount that you'd never notice it. Uh, valve covers look great. All new, ho uh, the hoses are actually original, so they're not new. Radiator looks great. You've got all your Japanese writing. What I did was I downloaded an app so I could see what the fuses were when we were servicing this vehicle uh, so we can make sure that everything was working properly. All of the shocks feel great. The ABS still works. I mean, it's like a time capsule. Here's your Japanese stamping from Mitsubishi Motors Corp. And then you're gonna see MMC on the trunk as well. And that's what that stands for. Let me close it. All right, back to the passenger side since I had to go over there to open it up for you. The doors show my, little to no wear, minor imperfections, so there's some scratches and nicks right here. A um, little bit of imperfection right here, and then the clear coat is coming off on some of the handles. But the overall appearance of it, extremely nice. The tires look great on the, on the rear here. Bumper has a small imperfection as well right here. We're showing these to you so that you know what you're getting when you're buying it online. All of the glass is in excellent condition, and you can see that it has a Japanese symbol right here and all of your gaskets are in great shape. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the driver's side while you look at that rear trunk lid and pop the trunk for us. Ready? A nice spacious trunk, hasn't been messed with. All of your pieces are in place. You can see that it's got a spare under here. More Japanese writing. Here's your spare. Looks like it's been used once. Close this. Diamante. And then uh, Mitsubishi Motor Corporation. Dual exhaust, uh, single dual exhaust coming out here. Then you've got your 3.0 R, which stands for the all-wheel drive, and it's a limited model. Another imperfection right here, small mark. And then the rest of the car looks great. I don't see anything popping out at me. Um, let me open up the door for you and unlock everything so you can see inside. All the door locks work as they should. And look at how nice the interior is. I mean, it's like brand new. Steering wheel has little to no wear, and it's very, very comfortable inside. So all the front seats are electronic. And then you have the ability to move your steering wheel when there's power going to it. So I can move it here. 
You can hear the stereo turn on in the AC. The AC blows ice cold. All the door cards look great. And you have folding mirrors as well. So the mirrors fold, that's pretty neat. Need to help it to go out, but not bad. You got your window lock. Let's go ahead and go for a ride. We're inside the Diamante right now. Let me show you something pretty cool. So this is a 1991. Let me turn this vent away from me. This is a 1991. It has remote controls for your entertainment system. So this has a television. This had touchscreen. You can hear it. The screen itself is dead, uh, but that can be repaired. And then this had navigation, and then your equalizer was in there as well. Also, it has a CD player, so if you want to go to your, uh, to your cassette, I believe we push play, and that works as well. So that works. The stereo actually sounds really good. You have a bass boost button, the whole nine yards. No Japanese cars came with cup holders at the time, so someone has decided to install these. You've got your clock up top. And the coolest thing about this car is so everything still works on the steering wheel, so you've got your controls for this. And then you can go to your FM or AM, which are not gonna work here, it's a different frequency in the United States. You've got your beautiful Mitsubishi Motor Corporation right here. And then I think the coolest feature, you click this button right here, it's called swing. Take a look at that. Oh yes, the AC is oscillating in the cabin. It also has some neat features here. So when you go up, it has the light control. This is 91, this is not the 2000s. You can control it based on night, day, or auto, and this dims and gets to the correct uh, clarity for if there's bright lights behind you. You have some really nice uh, sliders right here. Look at that. It's just a cool car. And then also, you're like probably wondering what these are. These are seat protectors so that you don't damage the seats. Extremely nice front and rear. You have lights throughout, so I could turn the lights on in here as well. And in the rear, all the light cabin lights work as they should. And I could turn those on via a button here, but you guys get the point. You have your AC controls here, so you can uh, adjust your climate, and it is actually a very cold. You also have the ability to hook up, like if you had a, a video game at the time with RCAs, you could put it in and it'll play through the TV as well. This car has never been smoked in, so the ashtray is extremely clean. Your, uh, your controls right here. So you have the ability to turn off your overdrive. Also, you have a power mode. So you have power, regular, and then if you want to hold it into a certain gear. Um, that all shows up right here. And then you have your safety check as well. So you can see everything going on in regards to your trip and kilometers. See how it shows 88,000 kilometers? That's actually like 55,000 original miles. Uh, let's go ahead and put it in drive. No clunking from either the front or the rear because it has a differential. Put my seatbelt on and we'll take it for a ride. We're gonna go down Ravenswood right now. Uh, you have to remember that the steering column is the same as if you were on the left-hand side of the car. So your wipers are gonna be over here, or if you're thinking you're gonna click this and it's gonna turn on your indicator, it's not. Your indicator's on this side. Steering is good. I don't hear any sound from the suspension. What we'll do is we'll take a corner here and I'll uh, get on it briskly. This was rated the number one luxury car of the time. That's pretty good. No wheel spin, uh, no funny sounds from the differential or the CV joints. And we're cruising at 80 kilometers right now with no issues at all. Nice and smooth. You can let go of the steering, it's going where it should. Just an overall very luxurious Mitsubishi Diamante. If you have any questions about this car, please don't hesitate to give us a call so we can put you in this dream ride. It's gonna be a pretty uh, reasonable price point too because this is like the perfect car you get your kid if he's graduating, uh, you know, eighth grade. Is it eighth grade when they drive? I don't know. Uh, probably not. No, no it's 11th, 10th, 10th grade. 10th, 11th when they turn 16. Well, you should buy it for them no matter what age they are. <laughs> uh, also, it has four wheel drive so they can't get stuck, which is phenomenal. As I said, this vehicle is four wheel drive, so you're not gonna have to worry about get stu getting stuck in sand. 
or anything of that matter. I mean, this is pretty. This is a pretty good test for for something like this. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and it, the best part is the suspension just feels so good. As you can tell, the four-wheel drive works great. No sounds are coming from the suspension. Uh, that's a pretty good test right there. We weren't trying to beat it up. We just drove through the sand pit, which that's where we test our Humvees out. This thing went through where a Humvee can go through. That's and it's on street tires. It's crazy. Don't forget, this is your windshield wiper, so we're going to turn with this one. Bet you that truck would get stuck in that sand. We just slid right all over it. So if you have any questions, give us a call, 954-363-2261. Runs and drives excellent. Looking for a new home. This could even be a mail truck if you wanted to because obviously your mailbox is on this side. Or you could lift it and put big tires on it.